Facebook friends, we are having a heat wave in the USA. You've heard that song, party in the USA. No, we got heat wave in the USA. So for those of you who don't know, it's me, Kayvon, the most famous half Persian comedian in the entire world. I want you to log in, tell me where you're from, what city, state, country, or town, and we'll give you a shout out at the end of this. But uh, as for me, I'm confused because I was just in Seattle, then Alaska, Okay, my career is like the president getting closer and closer to Russia every day. Then I went to Dallas, Texas, and then finally back to Los Angeles. And you know what? I wish I would have put a little bit of that glacier in my pants because I could sure use it right now. I've got ice packs going. I've got water bottles. I've got fans. I bought a new air conditioner and it broke. My new air conditioner from Costco. You know why we like to shop at Costco. If it break, take it back. I'm going to have to take it back. It lasted three days, guys. Three days. Now, my window doesn't open, like, slide up. The device is supposed to go in this way. I turned it sideways because my window, like, hinges out. So there's no way to get it there. So I, I hinged the window out, and then I put the device sideways, broke it. Don't tell Costco. We're going to tell them we don't know what happened. Shh. Bam. Okay? With that said, Dallas, Texas was amazing because although it was hot... Uh, that show was for a charity event. Some of those people are probably watching right now. Thank you for showing me a great time, showing me the great city of Dallas. The, the Big D, as they call it. On the flyer, they said, Kayvon takes the Big D. That means I'm taking on Dallas as a comedy show, but that's not what it looked like in the flyer. I said, uh, you know, can we change it? I'm, I'm not taking the Big D, you guys. I'm doing a show in Dallas. So we did that. And, uh, and I want to know, are you guys watching the World Cup? Put which team you're rooting for. Uh, USA didn't even make it. So as you know, a lot of Americans not really into soccer or football. In fact, uh, I could care less about soccer. I'm glad the world is happy about it. But if I want to watch a bunch of foreigners running around and nobody scoring, then I'll go to the local bar down the street. Okay? On my Instagram, I posted a new video. And tomorrow we're giving away some free tickets on my email blast. So if you're not a member, you go on kvon.tv kvon.tv. Find the word mailing list at the bottom, put your email in there, you can win a free ticket. These, my tickets used to cost $5, okay? $5, then it went up to $10, $15. These tickets now have a $23 value. Mm. So imagine, I'm giving away 30 tickets times 23. Who can do the math on that? Hmm? Who can do the math? 30 times 23, okay? I just did it in my head, 690. All right, guys, so with that said, go on my website if you like. I have my one-hour documentary, Noruz. I have another one-hour comedy special, Thanks God, and my new comedy special, Wrist Out. All of those are on my website. Now, it is getting warm in here, so it's time to read what you guys are saying about me and get the heck out of here. I just want to go right here and uh, take a look. Yes, I posted a new Instagram video today. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's where I talk about turning the Persian up or down. A lot of you have seen it, but uh, yeah, turning the Persian up or turning it down depending on the situation. If I go to a nightclub, Persian, full blast, v-neck shirt, hi, what's up, how are you, thanks God, I'm here, thanks God, you're here. Are you single? Me too, thanks God. But when I go to the airport, I turn the Persian off. We talk about that in the one hour special. And a lot of people who are not Middle Eastern are writing in saying, oh, I'm half Hawaiian. Sometimes I turn the, you know, the Hawaiian up when I'm at a luau, look at that dance, and I turn the Hawaiian down or off, you know, when I'm hanging with my American friends. Although Hawaii is America, we know that, but come on, that's pretty exotic for America. Hmm? Take it from a guy who was just in Alaska, which I'm going to post a picture on uh, Instagram. There's a bar, when you get off the ship in Alaska, I was on a cruise ship, you get off, there's a, uh, a, a bar and a store called Tongue Ass. T-O-N-G-A-S-S. Tongue Ass. So next time you guys go to Ketchikan, Alaska, be sure to visit Tongue Ass. I think you'll enjoy it. That's right. Tongue Ass. Well, they said it's Tungus, but come on. T-O-N-G-A-S-S. -S. You think it's... T I want you to vote. Tell me if you think it's Tungus. Or put the tongue emoji if you think it's tongue ass. You could put a tongue and a peach. Now, if you think I'm lying, I'm going to post the tongue ass picture under 
neat the comment section right here because uh, I, I can tell there's some skeptical people. Oh, he's just being a comedian. Luckily, being a comedian, we don't even have to really make many things up. We just notice stuff and then tell people who have never seen it before. I love my job. All right, uh, guys, find one of those dates on my website. Come to the comedy show because the more you come to the live shows, you're going to have a blast. I got a bunch of new material. I just did an LGBTQRS show and... Uh, they thought I was funny, the most famous half Persian, and a lot of them were wishing I was half gay. <laughs> but I said, no, I'm just here to support. Now, uh, yeah, I said, you know what? No, if you want that, you can go to tongue ass, uh, Tungus. Now, uh, tonight, I'm going to be live tweeting. There's a show on MTV. A lot of you know me from MTV's Disaster Date. That's how a lot of us met. I'm going to post some of those Disaster Dates because they were so fun to do. But that same production company has a new show on MTV. I'm going to watch it tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. And I'm going to be tweeting, making fun of the characters, making fun of the show, um, pointing out things I like about it. And that's the show is called Florabama Shore. You've heard of the Jersey Shore? You remember those dudes? The situation with his abdominal muscles from the Jersey Shore, huh? Come on. This is Florabama Shore. It's like the Jersey Shore with a red neck right on the back. So we're going to watch that show tonight together. If you want to watch with me, we can reply and go back and forth on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Kayvon Comedy. And for the rest of you, enjoy Tungus. Enjoy the heat. Enjoy the warm weather. I'm going to check the comments, and then I have to go to work because there is a lot to do, guys. I am launching 20 new comedy videos in the next 20 weeks. Because some people have only heard my Persian jokes. The next 20, there won't even be one reference to Middle Eastern. You will see a whole new side. You've seen this side with the big Persian nose. But have you seen my American side? Hmm? Get ready for it. Cody Dustin said, you were incredible. Cody's the one who helped me put on the show. I want to give a shout out to Cody for bringing comedy to Dallas. All it takes is one good person in every community to say, hey, I'm going to bring 20 of my friends. 30 friends, Kayvon, you bring 30 friends, we put them together, then we put on an ad, and another 50, 100 show up, we can have 150 people laughing in any city in the world. We proved that with Europe. But the best part about Cody's venue, they had a fog machine. And they told me, don't worry if the fog machine shoots off, because uh, it, there's no moisture and it won't leave your hand wet. I said, sounds like my ex-girlfriend. pa -dum! Psh! So listen, uh, as I'm doing my jokes, they would shoot off the fog. <laughs> I might post a picture there as well. The fog machine was awesome. And one time I bent down to pick up a DVD and someone hit the <laughs> fog machine. Bubba, it looked like I goosed. It looked like a fart machine. All right. Thank you guys for watching here. Um, I got to get out of here. Uh, Rihanna just says, I want to take the big D with you. Okay. Well, Rihanna, I'll see you in Tungus. Do you speak Arabic? Teresa, no, I do not speak Arabic. I speak barely fluent English. And a lot of time... I get that wrong too. All right, here we go. And a lot of people say, Kayvon, you have a very thick accent. Where are you from? I'm from Reno, Nevada, folks. There's no accent there. You might be wishing. You know what you're doing? You're impressing the accent you want me to have on your own ears. Like, oh, I wish he was Italian. And I, I'm just talking like this, and you're hearing, Mamma mia, look at the spaghetti. I like what I'm doing here. Come on. What's going on? I just like to comment there. Uh, shout out to Ali Reza. Shout out to Robin. So exciting, Robin says, with all the tour dates. You got that right. Um, your jokes make me giggle. Well, thank you, Amy. I, we, we do want to make you giggle. The goal is to make you laugh, but I'll take giggle. How about that? Folks, thank you for watching. I got to get out of this heat. Can you see the sweat? Can you see it? This is just from talking to you guys. Okay, I should never get this close to the camera because then you see the dark Persian eyes. But guess what, guys? This is after a full day of sleep. Persians have dark circles under their eyes. What throws you off is the blue. You see the blue and you're like, why is he so tired? What's wrong with him? It's the blue in the Persian. You're just confused. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you on kvon.tv. Pick a tour date. New York, Sacramento, San Francisco, Montreal, Minneapolis, and more. Bye-bye.